Hey, gang, it's your old pals, Uncle Hank and Kippy. Just want to thank you for tuning in to Are You Garbage? Yeah, guys, make sure you subscribe. That way you get the episode as they come out. And you can also go to gasdigitalnetwork.com, use promo code AYG to get bonus content and get the episodes before they come out and HD streaming. Do it. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Woo! Baby, that intro takes me back to the summer of 2020. <laughs> hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? The show where we sit down with your favorite comedians and find out if they grew up classy or if they're a piece of garbage. Mm -hmm. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a nice, crisp fall day here in the East Village, New York City. It feels like they're shooting E.T. outside. I fucking love it. Love it, man. I love it. Uh, my jacket does not fit in the traditional sense, but that is neither here nor there. I can't do the Hawaiians after Labor Day, so I'm going with the Hawaiian uh, athletic jacket that fit me last Christmas, but that's neither here nor there. My co-host coming at you from right next to me. Gang, you know the drill. He cooks the books. He keeps everybody in line. He keeps the IRS and the feds and the CIA off our back. The next time you're reaching for a best pal, do yourself a favor. You go ahead and make it a kippy. Give it up for Kevin James Ryan, everybody. <laughs> hey, gang. Happy to be here. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. You can subscribe there as well. Those numbers are through the fucking roof. Uh, also, you can sign up for Gas Digital Network using promo code AYG. You get to save a couple of bucks every month. We get to make a couple of bucks every month. It's a win-win for everybody. Happy to be here. Yes, sir. And gang, we could not be more excited. And I know Got you could not be more one. excited because this is a highly requested guest we have today. And I'll tell you what. This rap sheet right Ooh. here of credits, we got a little fucking star power in the building. <laughs> a little that. bit of juice coming Make in. Make that cappuccino decaf extra <laughs> foam, kid. All right? Gang, uh, our guest today is an extremely funny stand-up comedian and actor. As an actor, she has appeared in The Jim Gaffigan Show, Kevin Can Wait, The Comedian with Mr. Robert wow. De Niro, Crashing Rami, The King of Staten Island, okay, as a stand-up comedian. Sit back, <laughs> get fucking comfortable. <laughs> this is going to take me a minute. Let's go. Here we go. We're going back. Last comic standing. Last call with Carson Daly. The Tonight Show with Jay Leno Ooh, twice. The OG. OG. All right. We're talking shoulder pads, big suits. <laughs> fucking By the way, LA. Looks, looks like you got shoulder pads in right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> They're wide receiver pads. All right. We got The Apprentice. Mm -hmm. The Apprentice. Wanda Sykes, Hilarious. Gotham Comedy Live. The Nightly Show at Midnight. What's your fucking deal this week at the comedy cellar lights out with david spade i will now turn the page <laughs> the tonight show with jimmy fallon <laughs> torn of it last on tbs and the new series stars in the house and she also has her own special out called talking to myself presented by mr bill burr ladies and gentlemen the big question in everybody's mind today, is she garbage? I don't know that, but she's a fucking hell of a stand-up comedian, and she's goddamn successful, and I'm sure she's got a little bit of cash on her because she bought a brand new fucking car today, and we're going to hear all about it. Give it up for Jessica Kirsten, everybody. Oh, thank you. Hi, Much everyone. deserved Hi. intro. Hi. That's so nice. So happy to have you here. I'm so happy to be here. I know I've had to cancel a couple times, and I apologize okay. to you guys. We've had to do the same, so we're glad it finally worked out. Yeah, it's your fault. How was Leno? Was he cool? Was he handsy? What's the deal? He fingered me, but he was very... <laughs> he was nice, so it doesn't matter. Uh, real quick. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Buddy, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. I no, he was actually incredibly nice. He came backstage twice and talked to me and was really sweet. Yeah. He was. I, that's one guy I I've always wanted to meet. Really? I think. Just I grew up watching him. Yeah. I grew up watching him and then Conan. You know? Yeah. So I've always wanted to meet him. Yeah. And they they you know, they're all pretty nice. I mean the some of them are known to be dicks, but mm -hmm. most of them are really nice. Yeah. I want to meet the guy that played him on the nightly show. Remember that? That movie? No. You never saw I that? remember it, but I can't picture who that is. <laughs> it looks just like him. 
All right, that would have hit if everybody would have saw <laughs> I mean, the movie. Dude, you went for a deep cut with the nightly show. Can't I don't know you what the edit f- that out? Yeah, just still, make cut that. That's better. at four minutes and thirty-one. Kill seconds. everybody in the live stream. <laughs> yeah, we've been really trying to have you on for a long time. We're so glad that we got you here. Um, what is the what is the backstory of Jessica Kirsten? Where did you? You're grow a Jersey up? gal, I yes. think. Yes, right? yeah? yes. I grew up in South Orange, New Jersey. Okay. And it's I, a little bit of cash down there, right? Yes, a little bit yes, of money. Yes, in my part of the town. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, nice. I I lived in a um, area called Newstead, which everyone called Jewstead. <laughs> so not religious though. Anytime people think that they're like, oh, you must. I was not brought up religious. Okay. Just uh, reformed. Just culturally is, Jewish. Though? Yes, yeah. yes. And then um, I, my parents were married. They got divorced when I was thirteen, and my mom got remarried to. Uh, Zach Braff's father. That's right. Right. So there's yeah. four kids there. There were two of us, just my sister and I. So it became six of us from yeah. Scrubs. Three girls and yeah. three boys. Zach, yeah. like the Zach Braff. Zach Braff is your stepbrother. Yes, we did it. We did a Q <laughs> and A together awesome. last That's night. Crazy. It was what? fun. Yeah, we did a, a for charity. I mean, we made money, but it was for. T- <laughs> He's like, <laughs> ask for twenty grand. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's got the kind of money too, where it's yeah. like, if it ain't if it ain't twenty, don't even come at me. Yeah, I'm not I, getting out of bed. Right for for twenty minutes yeah. i was like oh my god i'm not used to for, this, coming but- from a comedian like 20 grand i made that's what i made in fucking 92 yeah, right <laughs> <laughs> that's what i mean yeah that's this year for covid during covid wait yeah. a minute was he would see an actor when he was a child actor he was nine and i was 15 when our parents started dating and then we we lived together when he was 13 and i was well, i don't remember 18 or something wow okay yeah and then uh and then my dad got remarried to a woman who was much younger, and they had two kids. So now I had a, a full sister, Damn. and then I had four, I had four steps and two halves. That's one of everything. You're yeah, back in a cycle. I there. know. And you, so you live with your mom. Yeah, I lived with my mom. You went with your mom. Yes. Then she got remarried. Yes. All right, and then those other kids move in the house. Right. What was that like? Well, some were in college already. It was it, it, actually I'm very lucky because everyone really got along. So like it was we really cool. did. It was like a Brady Bunch situation. It was, right yeah. And then I also lived at my dad's half the time, so I was one of those kids who like lived out of a suitcase. I That's was why that kid. being a yeah. stand-up has been it's fine easy. for me yeah, yeah, because yeah. I literally lived out of a suitcase for years. So he's remarried, new kids. Your mom's remarried, new kids. How mm-hmm. many kids were in in the in the Braths? Um, so the Braffs were four. four. Th- I had three stepbrothers and a stepsister. But he was five years, six years younger than Yeah, you. he was the youngest. So there's eight of you total. Like if you count the half and the step and you, right? Yes. Damn, that's yeah. a commingled bro- I know, group right and there. I grew up with one sister until I was a teenager. Jeez. So it was weird. So high school was literally like the Brady Bunch. Yes. That's crazy. Yeah, because we were two girls, and they were one girl and three boys. So when we got to, all got together, it was, <laughs> was three, three boys and three, three girls. Yeah. The Jewish Brady Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> the Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. Ugh. <laughs> um, First episode, they fire Alice. Yeah. <laughs> she was stealing. Because she's white. <laughs> um, yeah. Get Guadalupe. In here. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, how often did you stay with your dad? Was it like weekends or what was it? I would go a week and then another week. So that Holy was hard because I would get used to one house and then I wouldn't want to go to the other house. Mm-hmm. But you wouldn't want to go or you would? I, I, I would get like... It, sometimes if there was an argument I'd want to go to the yeah, other house yeah I think but, that'd be pretty good it's a nice out yeah it depended it depended on what was going on like sometimes I would want to get out and sometimes I wouldn't want to leave because they lived in two separate towns it hey, was I all, thought I was going to ask you how far away yeah, yeah they were like 10 minutes from each yeah, other same with me that was same, same. school yeah. district no would you go to two different schools? No, I went to Columbia in Maplewood, New Jersey, and my dad lived in Milburn, which was like literally seven minutes away. So he would just drive me to school every morning. Okay, all yeah. right. Yeah. I did that same thing. You did getting dropped off by yeah by your dad every every fucking. It was, we did Monday, Tuesday at my mom's, Wednesday, Thursday at my dad's, and weekends flip flops. I know. I gotta say, like it was okay, <laughs> but it did fuck me up. It like does, I've learned yeah. recently that a lot of this shit fucked me up. Mm-hmm. It did, but I mean. It, 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 there's no way of getting around it if the people need to get divorced. Sure. Yeah. Now, did you have your own room in each house? Yes. Your own designated room? Yes. It's not like when you weren't there, someone else was staying there. Your no. posters, your everything. No. <laughs> your diary under the so under the mattress. two rooms? Yes. Oh, I had two awesome. rooms. I know. And then like they would try to jack them up so that I'd want to stay with yeah. one longer. You know, they, they that was the good thing. I got, you get shit out you of play, it. You learn to play the two against the middle. Right. I got a it's, BB gun, a mini bike. <laughs> Easy. That's like yeah, a that's casino right, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Give it's me some true. chips to play on the house. Yeah. Did you like one better than the other? One house better than the other? Probably changed maybe a time. Who did better? Yeah. 
Your stepdad or you your know real what? dad? Well, or your mom? At my mom's, I was near my friend. I was closer to mm. my friends, and I could, you know, do different things like smoke pot and drink more. Yeah. But at my dad's, I had more fun, and I had more stuff there, like more toys. Yeah. And um, and I did fun stuff with them. So it was. I don't know. They both were good for different reasons. Yeah. Here's a. I have a question, uh, and this is specifically for children of divorce. Who took you out to dinner more for both of you? Dad. Your dad. Right? Dad. Your dad. Yeah. See, yeah. that's the way you win a kid over. I know. Fucking <laughs> the ground round on a Thursday night. The yeah. ground round. Yeah. <laughs> we went to a place called Giro's in Northeast Philly. Smoking section all day. It Giro's. was fantastic. Giro's. Giro's. That is garbage. Yeah, it was real trash. I love that. <laughs> Hell of a chicken finger. Shout out to Giro's. Yeah. I, I don't know what, because my one of my best friends growing up, his dad was divorced. And yeah. the, the kids lived with the dad. Dude, we used to go. He was eating out. I, I don't know what he did. He was a lawyer or something. Every night. And it'd be like every every two or three days in the summer, they go, yo, you want to come dinner with me and my dad? It's like, fucking yes. I know. Crushing you don't go out to bar. eat as much when they're not divorced. That's so true. Yeah. I mean, we always a, went out to yeah. eat. There's a, there's a, a home. F- there's like a fiber in the home. You go back. Everybody's there. Yeah. But when it's all kind of broken up, it's like, yeah. Where we'll would he take you a yourself. lot? Where would be the, the going out spot? Oh, we'd go out for like great burgers and, you know, go into the city a lot, oh, which what? my mom and I didn't do. Yeah, he wow. would take me to places. That's huge. As I it know. Is. Yeah. I would have sublet my room at my mom. <laughs> Airbnb <laughs> it for a couple of bucks. Ma, there's an Asian family staying the weekend. <laughs> me and dad are going to Mellon, so uh, we can't, can't make it back. We're going to get a room at the plaza. And he would take me shopping a lot. You know, he did things. He knew what he try- was doing. Yeah. yeah. He also felt guilty because he was fucking his secretary. <laughs> Uh, but did he get married to a secretary? Yeah, he did. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, she was his secretary, and then they ended up together. And they, my dad just passed, but they, they had been together for, oh my God, 35 years. Okay. Which is rare, yeah, right? It's, yeah, I would. I mean, he met someone 19 years younger, hot woman. You know, he was charismatic, but they stayed together, which is odd. Yeah, I was the same thing. Mine was like the bookkeeper, my dad, <laughs> and then they're no longer together. I don't think. Yeah, so it's yeah, it didn't. It doesn't doesn't always last. It doesn't last yeah. a lot, but it did. Wow. Yeah, I think that's what keeping keeping marriages together that a lot of guys don't get secretaries. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they don't have a good that's enough so job. So true. Now, yeah. you know, now a lot. Like, yeah, the, you gotta, wife, yeah. you the wife is the secretary now. Yeah, don't you keep hearing true. that? Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, what do you do? I am I'm I work for, for my, my husband. husband. <laughs> I keep his books. Yeah, and make sure he's not fucking anybody in the apartment, in the office. I watch what he does. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. What did your parents do? Yeah, what did your pop do? So my mom was a ther- is a therapist. Okay. So she- That's fun. Yeah, she saw clients in the house my whole life. That's another reason what? why- What? Yes. Oh, That's always so- That's that. a big thing it's on amazing. the show. Put a pin in that. Yeah. Go ahead. So, so we- um, So I didn't love being there for that reason after school, because I had to be quiet all the time. <laughs> And then my dad was a business guy, and and when he was with Karen, you know, after we were grown up, he made it huge. He 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 got into manufacturing nail polish, so he made SC and OP all the nail polishes. Damn. So yeah, yeah. So he did very well with his and his new kids lived a different life than we lived. Ah, that's yeah. always weird. The dichotomy of yep. that. When yeah. did you lose? When did you lose your room at his house? <laughs> that's a good question. Um, was there when a the move? kids were born. When the kid, like, I mean, I didn't need it. I was out of the house at that okay. point. I was in college, but yeah. Then they they moved, and then it was their two kids, mm-hmm. you know, their rooms. Yeah, yeah, that happened to me too. They were like, "Michael's getting your shit." I'm like, "All right, I'll see you at Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy." Hey, Kippy, you want that race car bed? <laughs> yeah, put some twenties on that thing. Hmm. Oh man, mom was a therapist. That's mom, a house. mom still is. Mom sees Zoom clients really? all the time now she's amazing she really is um i mean i talk about this a lot but she she's driven me crazy my whole life i, I adore can, her but it's nuts i can I'm imagine a Jewish mother who's a therapist yeah that's like double dipping yeah yeah that <laughs> is talk like about, yeah. extreme <laughs> anxiety and <laughs> yeah. boundaryless. it's so funny for pushy. people i grew up i grew up in at philadelphia obviously philadelphia you know the northeast that's it's like where all the and the west coast is where all the jewish people yeah. live like there's no there's no jews in the middle of the country really right and I grew up with all Jewish friends in a Jewish like a Jewish area. And I meet people that 
only have met Jewish people in their like twenties when they moved to New York, and I'm like, to know the anxiety of a Jewish person is like it's so right. It's the the the, the neurotic aspect. It's it's insane. Well, that happened with my wife because she was brought up Catholic, uh, you know, uh, Irish Italian. Yeah, mothers. Yeah, we're Italian. I'm a, yeah, I'm Irish Catholic. Right, but it's just the it's different. It's very similar, but it's different in the way like the neurosis with Jewish people is really crazy. Yeah, I mean. Just uh, well, all we we do it as shame. We take it as shame. Yes. you guys, uh, no shame. You'll just right. you know, it's just all the, it's all neurotic. Yeah, it I'm is. very shameful. You are always. always I'm yeah. so sorry. That's <laughs> it's embedded in us. <laughs> Jesus, you're really bringing the heat this episode. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I feel bad. Can we get him a B twelve shot or something? What What do you mean? That's what you were talking about. (laughs) I'm so shameful. I had the zinger about Alice. (laughs) Pretty good. I'm told my that nightly show. No, there's so much shame. There's so much shame, and and yeah, I see it. I see it all the time. Hmm. It's crazy. Um, I'm interested in the. I've never known anybody that had a, a parent who ran their practice out of the house. It's fascinating, actually. But I've been to a couple. Like, like you know, in the mm-hmm. suburbs, that's, you know, usually where right. you went to the dentist or where you went to the Orthodontist doctor. or whatever, or the yeah. dentist in a suburban, you yeah. know, suburban neighborhood. And my therapist used to have, when I was in college, they sent me to a therapist for ADD or something like yeah. that. And um, his practice was at his house. And it was always weird, like, being in there. And, like, the kids are out there. Like, the wife's out there grilling and shit. Like, I'm we in there fucking crying about so something. so many stories. I mean, I... <laughs> Did you just hear people, like, screaming and crying Yes, and stuff? I would sit on the stairs and get high. I would I'd get high and then sit on the stairs and listen, like, I said no. Like, people, like, <laughs> screaming at a chair because, like, that was their father. You know, oh, like, all kinds of shit. Awesome. But, but when I was growing up, there I mean, I sound like I'm 90, but there were no beepers or cell phones. There sure. wasn't. So I had to answer the door. I was, like, her secretary. I'd answer the door. And then she never wrote any clients down, so they would just show up. Up and I'd always feel guilty, like feel bad for them. And I'd be yeah. like, I guess she'll be home soon, but would you like something to drink? Would Wait, you be like, home? Would you like I got a couple chips? of Capri Suns if yeah, you want She wasn't home? No, she she <laughs> She played a fast what and loose. <laughs> she would she would forget them a lot. So they would <laughs> And sometimes two would show up at the same time <laughs> and they would sit in the den and wait and like the housekeeper's daughter would be in there, I swear to God, and they would all watch cartoons together. So oh I just walk God. in and see like Bianca, the housekeeper. <laughs> The housekeeper's daughter and like two of my mom's clients, like la la la, just sitting there. Ah, oh, that it was, it's a sitcom. Freak it's a me fucking, out. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. Right. That's like cuckoo's nest. And then that's... I had to be quiet. She was helping other people, but I was suffering. Like yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. I was going through so much shit. But she'd be like, "Susan's coming and she's having a hard time, so I'm gonna need you to be yeah, quiet." I'm like, "You're gonna have to put well, a lid I on just your fuck feelings." Fuck the cat, but good luck to Susan. <laughs> like it was. <laughs> It's amazing having to grow up like that, being quiet all the time. Oh, I think it's yeah. why I'm so, so loud, loud on stage. Now, yeah. I love a microphone. I just want to scream. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to handle that now. It was hard. And you can't interrupt them. So, you know, when you're a teenager, you know, can I go to this person's house? I need this for school. Like, I could never interrupt her. So that it was not brutal. easy. It was not easy. Holy it shit. It wasn't. How come she didn't get a little spot in the professional center? How much could the rent have been? You know what I mean? Well, it was, you know, people did that to stay home and take care of their kids. Sure. But, but the whole thing was her with clients all day anyway. So it didn't even, like, the point that she was home was, there was no point. <laughs> she wasn't point. really there. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 How separate was the, was it literally just they came in your front door? Because most places. You have a side entrance? Or yeah, was it we always shed had, we always or something? Had a side there entrance. was two houses. So the, the first one was, they came, this was a lot. They came through the front door oh and they God. went into an office when they walked in. But that was where, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Take your shoes off. Kids want that snack. was like where the, you know, the foyer was like the kitchen was right there. I mean, it was that was in the house. That's, yeah, that's in intrusive. In the house. When you're a little kid and there's strangers in the oh, house. Yeah, dude. Dude. Oh, my God. You're laying on the stairs looking to, like trying to catch a reflection. You're like, what right. the fuck are these like, people? Yeah some, yeah, some guy would be like, hi, I'm here to see your mother. I'm like, are you sure you're not here to see me? Like, it was so frightening but then the second house they went in through the garage and then a side thing so that was at That's least a little, in the base a little bit of a buffer zone. i know but talk about garbage the garage entrance for the therapist. i know also yeah if you're a therapist you gotta go through a garage you just you hear that door going up. i hear the door that's the door would give me so much anxiety because i knew someone was coming and then i would be like mom like she was gone forever if you're walking by a tractor to get to your therapist you need better insurance for sure and then she was an art therapist like that's how she started so there would be like 10 foil structures on the floor. Like, did everyone have a meatball Macaroni sub? Necklaces. What is happening? Like, just... <laughs> <laughs> the 
there'd be traces of people's bodies and like I just it was fascinating. Oh, I mean, man, that's yeah. fucking kooky. I love it. Holy yeah. shit. None of that at dad's though, I'll tell you that, no, right? No, my dad I cannot even believe they ever were together. He is was so black and white, macho, like conserve. I mean, it just he you don't talk about feeling. Like he ha, he'd <laughs> ask me if he wanted to know who I how I was, he would say, "How's your head?" That was how my father. Would, "How's your head? You okay, Jesse?" Real soft guy. Yeah. How's and my mom head? would be like, talk about it. Just keep sharing. And I, I can't even believe they were together for 18 years. Jesus. Those old school guys, man, they, they bury a lot. You're right. And they, they lose it at some point. Their capacity to bury it and function and seem normal on the outside and seem like they're having an okay time. You know, mm-hmm. I've been out to dinner with my dad a couple of times. Seem like he's having fun. <laughs> but they really, man, they just... Oh, it's, it's like 50 God. years of shit, just layer after layer Crazy. after layer. Oh, when he was dying, my dad passed in April. Um, it, he had cancer, wasn't COVID, but he was so inward. I mean, that's really interesting you just said that because he, you know, most people, I've been around, unfortunately, other my stepfather, my stepsister, other people, and he was just very close with it and like, you know, it was, he did not want to be vulnerable, and it was yeah. so interesting. My uncle, one of my uncles was the same way. He uh, he got cancer, and it uh, got him pretty quick. And I remember, like, when we had to, like, go and say goodbye to him. They were, he, was, he was in hospice care at his house. And, like, I went in there, and he was always, like, you know, that exactly what you're talking about, like, just tough on the outside, but, yeah. like, you know, but funny and charming and all mm-hmm. that stuff. And, like, I went in there, and I'm, like, I'm bawling my eyes out, and, like, he's barely conscious, and I'm, like, squeezing his hand, and he's, like, you gotta let me go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. That's Fucking what I went through with hardcore. my dad. Talk about demons. Oh, uh, dude. That's, let him take me. He was yeah. a rock. Man. I said, I love you, and he's, like, I love you, I love you, I love you. How many times are you gonna Say I love you. Meanwhile, he's a skeleton and like shitting himself. And he passed like two days later. All right, get out of here. He mocked me. He's like, already. He's like, how much you gonna say? Come on, just get me my fucking applesauce. Go get that cute nurse. Yeah. Holy shit. Go get that cute nurse. (laughs) Where's Debbie at? Oh man, that is something. And where'd you go to school? I went to University of Maryland okay. for underground, ah. and then I went to NYU for a master's in social work, but then I became oh. a comedian, okay. so I didn't practice social work, um, which is better because it was too depressing for me. I, cu- I couldn't handle it. I don't know how people do it. Social really work. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. I, ca- I couldn't do it. It's so depressing. Yeah. Just like inheriting other people's problems, yes, not being taking, really being able to fix them, you're just watching it, yeah. right? And I take on like I'm. You guys are probably very similar. Your comics. I mean, I take on people's energy. Like I can. Yeah. I would. I get sad around people who are sad. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I'm trying to work on it, but it's it's hard for me to just be around that and hear these horrible stories and just not right not be able to to fix really them. help yeah yeah it's tough i used to get sad when i was a kid and we'd go to mcdonald's during the day and there'd always be like one or two old guys. <laughs> and i wanted to go again yeah. at night and they said no <laughs> and like you just missed breakfast you know what i mean yeah. no but there'd be like there'd be two. like one or two old guys just sitting there by themselves smoking i know his, used to fucking bum me out My well that's because you're sensitive like, uh, most performers are like that yeah we're very sensitive people. But it was also, I felt like, in a selfish way, because I just wanted to enjoy my burger. It's like, I don't see to look at this fucking old guy. Mom, let's take this to the fucking car. Get my big breakfast and hit the bricks. <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel when I go to, like, when I'm around amputees. I'm like, God damn it. Can't you just get your legs back so I can have a better day? You know what I mean? Or walking <laughs> through a casino. You're just like, Oh, Ugh. that is... Casinos I mean, are tough. They're, <laughs> I think casinos are as bad as, like, medical centers. It's like, really, it's really people true. People are clerk, they're hooked in by a card with like a, <laughs> a fucking thing hanging. They're smoking. They have, they're riddled with cancer. Oh, riddled. Yeah. You Every see part it. of the look close enough. It's you like can a see hospice it. in come New on, Orleans. Come on. Come on. Give me seven. And they're like, like rubbing and they're rubbing and then like they're coughing and lighting oh, up cigarettes. It's so upsetting. It really is. I was, I've, I think I might have said this before. I was, I was in AC doing shows and afterwards I was like, oh, I'll go play the tables and I'm sitting at a table and this fucking mutant, this guy <laughs> literally just collapses next to me, <laughs> faints, falls backwards and nobody batted an eye. No, nobody, they're betting. They're nobody gambling. moved. I know. And I go, well, this guy, and they're like, yeah, they'll, they'll come around. They see him on the cameras. They'll come get him. Yeah. They just came and scooped him up. Yeah. Nothing ever happened. Isn't that unbelievable? <laughs> the, the 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 price of life in, a, in the Tropicana at two a.m. is pretty low. <laughs> I've made videos there where I'll be at a slot machine, like you know, like 
someone. First of all, your videos me. are insane. Thanks for you. doing some of the stuff you do. It's, I know. I, 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 I'm like, how do I was just watching one. You were at a restaurant shoving napkins in your mouth or something. I'm like, how does she have the balls to do this? <laughs> that was with Jim Brewer at the table, and those were his kids laughing. Isn't that funny? We <laughs> were at a funny. wedding. Oh, you and Brewer at a wedding. You were at a wedding. Oh my god, I love him. We were at a wedding together. Yeah, but I, I, I sometimes I have these hidden camera videos where I'll sit in a slot machine and be like, how am I going to pay the rent? Like, I just <laughs> start yelling all this stuff. Like it's so people get so freaked. Oh. Oh yeah, those are sad. And so people getting lottery tickets, man. Oh, at that's the bodegas, bad. Just like, With the little what are you pencil, doing? guys breaking yeah. out like like a hundred dollars, like Chris twenty. Let just me get like, three nine eight <laughs> straight box four nine four. The yeah. number. Yeah, you're standing in front of Gatorade. Like this isn't the action. Oh, <laughs> <You know? laughs> this ain't Vegas, buddy. This ain't the strip. There's like Move a over. I want to get my honey roasted cashew. Yeah, there's a. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. That's you? exactly what the place is by me in Long Island where I live. These people are in there all day just sitting at these tables, you know, filling out with a little pencil. A little piece stuff. of the oh, paper the... that's been in their pocket for like four weeks. Oh, they hold on so to it and upsetting. scratch it off. How about the down? places where they have the TV and there's some kind of game going on? Kino. There. Isn't that Kino? Oh. oh, that's bad. I think that's worse. Kino's worse. Do those guys get laid? Like, what's the. <laughs> I <laughs> doubt it. By horses. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to the 7-Eleven, play a little Kino. I'll be back in a little bit. What's Comes your birthday? In, What's your birthday again? Give me a number, one to ten. Come in, hitting everybody in the store. <laughs> one to ten. Guy, kid, get Not some one laffy to thirty. Taffy. Yeah. One to ten. And also, too, also too, <laughs> those daily numbers, like the three dollar, like the three digit numbers and stuff. If you hit those, because I used to, I used to work at Acme, they used to sell the lottery tickets. Yeah. And they would come. People would come in and spend, you know, fifty bucks a day trying to hit a number, and uh. they, for two years, and then they finally hit one, and it's like. It's like eight hundred bucks. It's not like they're not winning. They're not winning ten grand or something. Yeah, but if you're betting fifty a week, yeah, a, that's a day not sometimes because <laughs> they're daily numbers. They're just hemorrhaging money, and they're like, "Well, I won two two weeks ago." It's the action, baby. I Everyone know. lies about the money too. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, if you asked me when I was gambling for a while, if you said how much you lose, oh, thank God. What'd you gamble on? Wait, you were gambling. I'm a. I I'm a huge. I, I gambled a lot. Blackjack. I could sit for yeah. twenty four hours yeah. and play blackjack. What? I love craps. I love slots. Yeah, I, I was a big poker player yeah i like poker too what was the I, most you ever won oh my god i mean on a slot machine five grand six grand yeah on a cruise i won a shitload <laughs> i won twice were you working the cruise or did you yes. go on the cruise okay. and i've also gone and lost my pay within <laughs> a day cruise. or yeah, two it's yeah, yeah. fucking what nightmare. work it also yeah. too when you're if you lose if you lose if you lose on a casino gig early and you still it's gotta bad. sit on the cruise of the casino for the next three days it fucking sucks you lost your whole pay for the week and you're yeah. like hey i should do a joke about my balls yeah. and i'm like i have no money <laughs> i'm being harassed by a fuck I it's, That's yeah. awesome. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. I haven't gambled in a long time, but I'm playing Mohegan Sun. So am I. At the end of the month. When are you doing it? I'm going up with uh, Verzi, November 4th oh, I love Verzi so much. That's I'm the there the week before. Oh, nice. And I'm like, oh, boy, I'm just not doing it. I, was I haven't it done well. it in years. You stopped cold turkey. I just got... <laughs> s I stopped... <laughs> I had kids, and I thought, what, what am I doing? Yeah. Like, you can't, once you have kids, you can't bet thousands. I mean, it's crazy. Like, it's What was crazy. the most that you, what, what, how much do you think total you've lost? At one time, on it's not a lot compared to a lot of people, but maybe three grand. Mm. But that was Fucking upsetting. That's more than he made I'm, last year. I'm telling you, that was. It, 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 but I'm 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 crazy. Okay, so I'm an addict, and I love the whole, you know, the craziness of the gambling. Mm -hmm. But even if I'm up, I will gamble it away just so I feel like shit. I know that might sound crazy yeah. to some people. Because that's why you feel comfortable. Wow. A little bit. I didn't feel worth it to leave with stacks of money. I'm kind so of the I would same keep way. putting it back. I, I, I know. I'm Isn't kind that of the sad? Same way. It's tough. Because I go, I know the sorrow <laughs> of losing it. And I go, I've left the casino with no, like, completely broke. And yeah. I'm going, I've lived. Like, I'm. I woke up the next day, so I'll figure it out. So yeah. it's like, I'm okay with it. And part of you revels in it a little bit. Right. And then I'm like, I'm up. So if I lose it, I'll be even. Yes. It's crazy. Yeah. It's Fucking totally damaged crazy. goods right I know. There. I'm yeah. damaged. I that. I've been doing a lot of work on it, but I, that is, it's not okay. It's crazy. Have you ever been to an OTB? No. Okay. No, You're a little that's... classier. <laughs> <laughs> she be, came from Jersey, okay? Kimmy thought he had a friend there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've been yeah, there, too. Yeah, I never, know. yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, me either. He's I like, have you ever been to... This the... fat fuck goes, but... Uh, <laughs> Route 72, you know, I, I, uh, no. Hey, what's up, guys? Let's take a quick second to talk about our brand new sponsor, IP Vanish, baby. IP Vanish is an incredibly important tool that will help you protect your privacy online, which is very 
very important. I don't know how you spend your time online. What you do when you're online isn't my business, no, or is nobody else's. I don't mm-hmm. want you peeking at my history either. You know no, what I mean? No peeky peeky. If you don't want cyber criminals to steal your data or marketers to track what you're buying, you need IP Vanish. IP Vanish is a VPN virtual private network that creates a private connection from your computer or phone or tablet to the internet, which protects your identity and encrypts your data so nobody knows what you're doing. Gotta keep them guessing. VPNs are great for protecting your data from hackers, especially when using public Wi-Fi that isn't secure. With IP Vanish, your real IP address disappears, so you can't be tracked online. You'll get fast, unrestricted internet. They have more than 1,500 servers in 70 different countries. Get your passports ready. So with IP Vanish, you're never going to get stuck with a slow site or a video that won't load. But what really makes IP Vanish great is that it's with VPN, there's 24 7 customer support, baby. Bottom line, a VPN is something everyone will need soon enough. So check out IP Vanish to start protecting your data and privacy online today. And gang, plans start at $3.25 per month by going to IPVanish.com backslash garbage. That's 75% off their regular price just by going to IPVanish.com backslash garbage. Start protecting yourself online today with IP vanish now back to the show what uh, were you a good student what'd you get in your sats i think i got like 12 something but that was the second time the first time i got like a thousand i i i, I was that's not still a good, good. That beats him. tons yeah. of tutoring you got a 620 <laughs> <laughs> for both <laughs> he took it three times as a combined score <laughs> No. What'd you get, an 890? 870. Uh, I still okay. got to a good, pretty good college. That's good. Yeah, yeah. no, I... Flunked I, out two years later. <laughs> it's okay. Listen, we all make mistakes. But you it's have all... your master's. No, I, I I didn't get my master's. I almost got it, but I, I did stand up. Like, I just fell in love with stand up. I was like, fuck this. I hate school. I probably had six months left. It was... I, I would have never used it, though. Especially... Actually, now I would, because there's COVID. So I need... I'm going to have to work in a fucking deli. I don't know what's going to happen. I know. But... Uh, yeah, no, I... Sure you could forge that transcript. You're right. right. No one's going, but, you know, yeah. If it's... No one's ever Who checked my transcripts know? ever. Right. you just like, hey, I graduated. Maybe I did. Nah, maybe people I didn't. get caught. They get busted. Nah, you're fine. Yeah? yeah. I don't know. Let's right. hope I don't have to do that. I went to the University of Notre Dame then. <laughs> where, graduated where my to buy weed one weekend. Where did you go? <laughs> I went to Widener University. I know Widener. You do? I think I performed there. Is it in Pennsylvania? Yeah. I think I performed there. Yes. Yeah, there were years where I did tons of colleges. Yeah, it was all right. It was a good school. Yeah. Good time. So didn't you quit to like follow the Stone Temple Pilots or somebody? <laughs> you did something outrageous. No, I didn't go to, like in the beginning of lacrosse season, you go to lacrosse camp. It's like, you know, like like a preseason intensive. And that's where you like, they set up the offense and the defense for the year and all that shit. I didn't do that. And I went to Seattle with my buddy because we were going to move to Seattle in the summer. <laughs> so we went out there for spring break to scope it out. Uh-oh. Do you know I played lacrosse in high school? Yeah. And I, uh-huh. honestly, that was the hardest sport I've ever done. That yeah. and golf. But that was, I thought lacrosse was so hard. Golf? Wait, how does golf get in there? I've tried golf and it just seems so hard. Oh, like so the skill? Hard. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's brutal. Brutal. Yeah. Absolutely brutal. But lacrosse is an amazing sport. Yeah, it was fun. All right, finally somebody has a little respect the, for the kidney. This is like the it. third week lacrosse has come up for him. He's re- he's reveling in it. He's got his Letterman jacket on. He's going to go to the big game tonight. Can I get an orange Gatorade in here? Some uh, <laughs> purple Skittles? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's Skittles. get into a little Are You, you Garbage? garbage. Let's All right. Let's do it. So um, we got the SATs. We know the background a little bit. Yes. Yes. Um... um all right, let's uh, a little bit now. So you you live in Long Island now, yes. on Long Island, right? Yeah, live on Long Island. Mm-hmm. Is it a single family home you live in, or is it an apartment, a condo? What are we looking at? I have a home. You have a single family. <laughs> Just home. brought it right before COVID. Really? <laughs> yes. Okay. Does that home have a garage? Yes. Does that garage have a refrigerator in it? No. Ooh. Really? Wow. Mm-hmm. Growing up, Jersey, the birds, always two yes. houses. Most Jews have two you, fridger- two fridges. Least, exactly. Because yeah. we're afraid we're going to be taken away again. So we- <laughs> We take a lot of food. Yeah. <laughs> Buy in bulk, Costco. Yeah. <laughs> so why don't you have one now? Are you going to get one, do you well, think, or just, just not functional? Well, we just bought the house. Okay. I mean, like, right before COVID. Really? So, and we have a big fridge. Okay. Yeah. Love a big fridge. What, what brand is it? Um, you got a Viking or something? What not a Viking. Sub-Z? Frigidaire? F- it's a... F- no. 
Um, I think it's is a general electric. I don't know. It's a huge fridge with a big freezer with different. Is the freezer at and, the bottom? And you open it like this, Ooh. and there's sides. And you... <laughs> Wait, you open it like I this, just, but you have the freezer at the, the bottom? bottom? Yes. Ooh. I just got excited. That's that might be executive. Friend. Yeah. That might be the best fridge anybody's yeah. had on a show. <laughs> that's fucking nice. Yeah. That's a little. That's Opens nice. up like a Rubik's cube. <laughs> I fucking love it. That's what my parents It's like got. origami. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> and the one side has that little flap on it to keep everything extra cool, so you open it like that. Yes, it has yes. flaps. Yeah. yeah. That's clean living right there. Classy. <laughs> okay, all right. Mm. I, I like it. But growing up, you did have two fridges. Yes. And in those refrigerators in the garage was usually what? Frozen dinners that had been made. Okay. Uh, meats. Breads, cookies, everything. Everything's yeah. sodas, stuff you like that. You keep everything in a Jewish you don't throw anything out. Yeah. I swear. It's crazy. My bat mitzvah cake is still in the <laughs> <laughs> uh uh-uh. Really? <laughs> no, I Mazel. Binged, I binged on that fucker when I was like <laughs> seventeen. Make, yeah. And then I, yeah. Wait, is that a thing to save a little piece of your Yes. Oh it is? Yeah. I knew it was a wedding thing. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. That was like an hour ago. Like <laughs> a little bit of cream, please. I, I, I put an average amount. You want me to? I'll no. I'll make you another one. If you want. No, don't worry about it. It's fine. I'll drink. That's it. it. You're fired. Fucking Mikey, asshole. Mikey, nervous <laughs> Nelly coming in here. Oh I got my some star God. power. Yeah. Kirsten's making them shake. I like how you put the screws to him. I like a little melt. I, I put it normal. I uh, know because I thought he was. Oh, this a lot of cream. <laughs> <laughs> he cream this right now. What did he jizz in this? Does it? Uh, yeah. If you want this, you're so it. sweet. I, yeah, a little bit of cream is good, just because I don't. We're gonna pour it on your crotch. I don't want to shit all over. Guest Dude, I've studio. never seen you like this. <laughs> he's flustered. What? The? No, I love him. I've ah. him. he's great. Yeah, well, he's when, the best. everyone when, here is great. When when we when he was walking in behind me, I said Jessica Jessica Kirsten's gonna be like, <gasps> like oh. oh my god, I love her. Oh <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> it was like I told a I told a he's Bette so Miller was coming too. in. He has a cute. You have a cute mustache. You're very cute. <laughs> that was awesome. Where the fuck is the coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Zach Braff wouldn't stand for this. I, <laughs> I gotta call my fucking brother in here. Straighten you out. Can you imagine well, if I called him? Yeah. I'm doing a podcast. I'm doing a podcast. I need, I need they didn't even give me 20 me. grand. Do you believe that, Zach? <laughs> Did you get the 20 G's for the thing last night? Not 20, but uh, no, we split Couple. a nice amount. That's nice. great. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Um, I have a question. What is the length of the inner circle? of people in your life that you would eat off their plates. And before you answer that, we didn't ask it. Do you think you're garbage? Do you think you're garbage? Oh, that's such a good question. I mean, that that is probably has so many meanings, right? Like, Depends, not that I'm yeah. not trashy. I think I've acted like I'm garbage, but I don't think I am garbage. Yeah, okay. I think you come from pretty good stock. Pretty good stock. Right. You mentioned but a country I've, club, you, but, a golfing, lacrosse, right, a little but bit I've, of cage. I've done things that are garbage. Sure, sure. Everybody but, rebels a little yeah, bit, you know? Yeah. Okay, so back to my original question. Yeah, explain it again. Whose plate, what's the limit of people's plate that you would eat off of? Like wife, kids? Oh. Neighbors? No, not neighbors. <laughs> yeah, she's no. not an animal. <laughs> Also, like, what's your... I want to know your answer. It's probably fucking most of New York. Otters. <laughs> I wouldn't eat from anyone's plate that isn't in my in immediate family. Okay, okay. that's the correct sure. answer. Yeah. That means, so that means wife, kids. I would eat off my siblings' plates or my parents or... Okay. But not my wife's siblings or my wife's parents. Okay, not your in-laws. All right, I'm, no. I'm with you. Not no, mine. I stop you wouldn't it, eat like, off mine. No. Okay. No. There's certain things in my wife's that I won't even share. Really? Yeah, it's just... Drinks are a little rough. Depends what it is. Oh, Salad drinks? is weird well, to it me. Well, because stuff comes back down after you take the swig. <laughs> Salads? Yeah, I can't fight. There's <laughs> like a piece of an olive in my fucking diet Sprite. I don't really need that right now. I'm like, ah. right, I'm about to go over like the Like blue edge. cheese in the corner of your mouth. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. I did that to my dad one time by accident at a, uh, at a family party. <laughs> It was Christmas Eve. I was all smoked up, and I walked in like just this spread of like <laughs> shrimp and fucking crab yeah. cakes and brownies. And I was I <laughs> serve all courses at the same time. Who has brownies Some of them and do. shrimp? Some do that. <laughs> Had a shanty Irish Christmas. Yeah, just yeah. dump it in a trough and let you animals have at it. I've never been to any event where there's been brownies and shrimp out at the same time. Shrimp brownies. <laughs> That's insane. Shrownies. Shrownies. Well, I was eating both Brimps. of them. Because I had them all. 
and I had this Brips. big frosty mug of beer, and I was taking big sips oh. off of that, and eating it, and I put it down, and I turned around for a second, and my dad had picked it up and was starting to drink it, and I was like, dude, I was eating all kinds of shit. Right, he tastes up. like he drank from a fish tank. <laughs> By the way, the another question: Have you ever down. owned a fish tank, like a proper? When I was a kid, not proper. Okay, it, just like it, a bowl. The with fish a, died every okay. week. What was the pet situation growing up as a whole? Oh God! Well, we had two outdoor cats. Mine was named Baby, the so original, <laughs> um, and my sister's was named Gypsy. And then we had a dog named Biff. I mean, what a horrible name! My dad That's named a tough Biff. name. Yeah, Baby's uh, the trashiest one out of all of them. No, it gets worse. And then. Um, <laughs> Fred. And then I had a cat, Lulu, and a cat, Kitty. This is so embarrassing. Oh. And then I, my ex and I named our dog Puppy. I mean, wh- what the <laughs> fuck? you have to know I've been on drugs in my life <laughs> that I've named all these Big animals. Big on the nouns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cunt rag was the next one. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> and then my and then uh, my wife, I we... I came into this animal, into the relationship was Bailey, and he was awesome. But that's that's my pet. Okay. Yeah. As the pets passed away when you were a kid, where would the bodies be disposed of? Um, at the the vet. Okay, they it's were proper. Just, I yeah. got a couple of dogs in my backyard. We're no, we don't. Trash. We don't do that. Yeah. Little, put a little grave, a little cross. It's real bad. Real, real shit. Twenty one gun salute. Yeah. <laughs> Fly over. I was for a I was thinking about it today. My 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 parents did okay, but they came. They were both really poor. My parents did okay, and nobody teaches you that you got to act like generational money cha- like refines yeah. you. My yeah, parents were just animals with money. Like they didn't right. know what to do. It like, does refine. So they you. have all these like generally, you know, like if your dad had money, you're going to be a little bit better. But mm-hmm. my parents were just savages. They put it all in blooming onions. <laughs> yeah, blooming onions. Like Outback Those Steakhouse, are the best with yeah. that sauce. Never been to an Outback. You believe that? Oh one? God, you got to go. Go Swear. now. Never been to an Outback or a Benihana. Oh my God, you yeah. have to go to an Outback. Okay, you like it? Do you ever been to Ruby Tuesdays? Yeah, I've been Ruby. Yeah, I've been to Ruby Tuesdays. That's a classic. With the salad bar, you get like seven meals in (laughs) one. That's garbage. Yeah, that's trash. Oh, that's right. I. That's me. I love I, a good salad yeah, bar. Yeah, me too. That's, that's gone, right? There, there, there'll be no more salad bars in the future? I don't future. know. There's a couple hot bars still floating around in um, some boat. I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of salad bars. <laughs> um... Uh, there's people on 23rd Street eating... They Out to eat on the street at... Outback Steakhouse, which boggles my mind. Of all, like, you've been oh, cooped up for is. so long. Yeah. And you, you can finally go to a restaurant and you choose to eat on 23rd Street. Because that's Outback. a fa- out, Outback is very fancy for some people. I know. That's tough, though. I'd rather. What do, I mean, you, want, what do you want to go for the kids' uh, anniversary? Outback. That's, that's where all my mom's birthdays are. It's all their. <laughs> They're garbage people. But really? That's where the people are having her birthdays yeah. at Outback? <laughs> this is, to put it this way, uh, I want my. I we they celebrated things where we the kids didn't get invited. They went to Outback. We it was an Applebee's level for the kids when they were out spending a couple uh, of bucks. Yeah, they wanted those. They oh hit Applebee's. God, they wanted those amazing. signature cocktails. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> flaming margaritas. They would go to the one in like it was in like the parking lot next to like you know a business complex. Like, uh. Right across it's from so right across from parks. This country that is so, it's so fucking sad. depressing. <laughs> and they think like, yeah, we got a nice. We went to. That's like they'll still do it. Yeah. It's, man, it's so trashy. Do they bring leftovers home? My mom's a big leftover gal, but yeah. she's also trash. So, <laughs> I think taking leftovers is a trash move. I don't. It, it depends where Thank you go. You. I, if you're, I, I feel like if you spend money, you should absolutely take stuff home. Mm-hmm. I'm not a. I don't disagree. I just think it's right. You think it's not classy. Taking home scraps is not a classy. It's not scraps. scraps. It's the rest of your meal. Yeah. We've been over this. Especially if it's a good meal. Yeah. I'm not fucking leaving. I finish it. You don't have. Well, who are we? Who are we fooling here? You haven't had fucking leftovers in years. Although we did see uh, one of the barstool guys uh, this week wrapped up, like if he was out to dinner with a bunch Ooh, of people, this is a bad yeah. move. and took other people's leftovers home in the same container. Is he retarded? I mean, like, I never. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Is that true? Were you out to dinner with him? <laughs> no, no, they I were. Was. They were. It's been. This has been very. Uh, the leftovers has been a very divisive thing on our show, and other people have gotten. I involved. think that's insane. Yeah. If you have a ton of money and you're taking oh, other people's, people's leftovers, stuff over, yeah. yeah. Well, not that's, like stealing it, but just they didn't want it. No, I still think that's yeah, crazy. Yes. That's pushing it. Yeah. She's a little. She's classy. Classy broad over here. Very classy so far. Very, um, very. I got one. Mm-hmm. Is any of the Tupperware at your house currently stained red? Yes. Ooh. Is any of the Tupperware at your house currently old to go containers? 
like a thing of promise or that's something. That's not maybe. me. That's my wife. And yes, probably. <sighs> okay. Wait, hold that's on. That's not me. I would never keep that. That's two separate questions. Is yeah. it something that you bought from the like a like a promise container, like a or anything? Are you currently using anything that's not a Tupperware as Tupperware? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> like my mine's big. My mom's big on like an a, old th- sock, a thing of margarine. <laughs> you open it up and it's like gravy or something. Oh. A web. I love no, that. I, no, I don't. Yeah. Oh, no, you don't I reuse would, the no. Plastic no. things no. that should just be trashed. See, yeah. I love that. Going to my mom's refrigerator and open up like a thing of uh, <laughs> Breckstone's cottage cheese with pineapple because that's how they like it. And there'd be like two or three meatballs in there. Fucking Dude, that's good disgusting. night. That is so. I <laughs> totally trash. know what you're doing. Oh, that's trash. Pop that right in the microwave. Sprinkle a little locatella on there. Oh. Woo! So funny. Dude. Yeah, no, I don't do that. Clean living. Though I tell you, the one time I, I woke up and I made it was like ready to butter. I was like hung over and I'm like I'm gonna butter this bagel <laughs> and I opened it up and it was like <laughs> dripping. I don't know what it was, but it was this bright ambrosia. Almost fucking threw up all ambrosia. over the all over the counter. He's got a real thing with ambrosia. Was ambrosia a thing in your house? <sighs> Not mine, but I married into that because really? of Italian. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I remember somebody served it to me at a graduation party one time. I was like, "Yo, tuts, hit the bricks with whatever yeah. the fuck this is." It is like it, it's like they gay serve porridge. it with the meal. That's that's the weird <laughs> Did thing. You miss that? It's, it's gay porridge. Gay porridge. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. It looks like mayonnaise it's, with marshmallows. I don't, no, it's not. It's sour cream. <sighs> it's sour cream, coconut, pineapple, n- walnuts. Maraschino uh, cherries. People put cherries in it. Cherry Peaches. juice. People put all kinds of shit in it. It sounds like someone had to it. make a dessert and didn't chop, and they were like, let's just put whatever we it's have in the fridge. It's got marshmallows. Oh, do you like it? Uh, what? I love oh, it. That and some deviled eggs? I Goodbye. know. Me oh. too. I love coconut too. <laughs> Wait, you don't like deviled eggs? Oh, no. <laughs> No. Jessica? I love deviled eggs. <laughs> I don't understand them, to be honest. That and hard-boiled eggs, I can't wrap my head I around. I love hard-boiled what? eggs. What? What are you talking about? I got to tell my mom, growing up, if my mom didn't like it, she didn't. She was single mom, she didn't make it in the house. So if she didn't like it, I didn't get introduced until I was like 22. Well, all the, all the <laughs> no food. No way, in, Jose. Yeah, I grew if up it with, ain't scrambled, I ain't touching it. Yeah, I know what you mean. I grew up with some rotten food because my mom was busy helping everybody. So I, <laughs> you know, I would go for like sour cream and it would be like goat cheese. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot. Go cheese to a kid. That might as well be acid. I know. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> mm. But that's very classy that you even had goat cheese in yeah. your house as a kid. I don't think my parents even are aware of what goat cheese is no. to this day. I'm pretty sure my mom's never had Indian food, too. I was talking about that before. She, she's just, it's like potatoes and Outback. That's it. Yeah, yeah I t- you guys are, it's like totally American. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's American, like real yeah. just trash. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> Uh, I'd um, love to see my mom sitting down there with a nice, a nice schmear of, uh, of Indian cuisine. Well, like trying to read the menu, my mom would be like, "Do you have a bl- like? Where's the blooming onions? You know, I'll have a gin and tonic, <laughs> yeah, absolute and tonic. What's this tikka masala shit? <laughs> you got a breaded cutlet? Can you make that into a sandwich? <laughs> Can I get the chicken with no sauce? Just the chicken. Yeah. Uh, I saw somebody do this the other day that I wanted to ask you, um, Kippy, we can get your input as well. In the grocery store, mm-hmm. okay, how do you feel about leaving the cart and going out and doing a little thing on your own and having the cart kind of stay it's in, in line? somebody's way? Oh. And it's out of your sight. I do it. I do it. And I've also grabbed other people's carts about 400 <laughs> times. And I'll walk away and be like, did I order like Afro Sheen? <laughs> did I pick out Afro Sheen and like coconut oil? What is happening? Oh. Who am I? I've done that. I've done that really? so many times. Taking somebody else's just, just I'm so <laughs> out of it, like trying to look for stuff. And then I'll just walk away and someone's like, excuse me. Excuse me. That's my cart. My baby's in there, so- miss. <laughs> <laughs> miss, that's my child. I that, love. No, it's a handicap. That's my scooter. <laughs> that's just. I uh, I love looking at other people's carts at the grocery store. So do I. See what they got. See what they got going on. Yeah. yeah. I always think I'm it. better than everybody at the grocery store too. I always feel like I'm better. That was no, one... there's people who are better sometimes. Than oh, me. they'll, like they'll have most like, of them are, and yeah. fucking. They don't. You know. Care. I'm like, you get a life. That was something about waiting <laughs> tables too. I agree. I would like, especially when I worked at I worked at a Bear Burger for a little while. Mm-hmm. All right, and I would listen to the way people would get their burger, and if I thought that would sound pretty tasty, I would then order that later. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> so pathetic. It's like a heart disease, but sure. <laughs> no, it, that's cute. <laughs> Morbidly obese. Um, <laughs> I get it. Um, I, this is a big one that. Uh, 
since we're talking about food, if you get takeout or delivery, right, and you're at your house with takeout or delivery, mm-hmm. do you plate it on your own plate or do you eat out of the... I can- plate it. Oof, that's class. That's the right really? move. Yeah. When I was in well, my 20s and 30s, you I did out of it, but yeah. now I, I plate it. So if you guys are home... And you, you, have, you guys have kids, right? Yeah. How many do you have? I have forty six children. No, um, I have I have one with my ex who doesn't live with me but lives right near me, a fourteen year old, and then I have a five year old. They're all girls. Okay. I have a five year old. You're not going to believe this, and twin eighteen month olds. What? Wow. I think yeah. I didn't know that actually. Yeah. So you got a full house. I have full house. So when you guys are all sitting down to have dinner, if it's takeout, you're taking it out and you're serving it on the plates. Yeah. That's the way to do it. That's class. But we will use paper plates. Like, we're not... That's fine. That's what happens when you have kids. You're like, I don't want to fucking do dishes. I don't want to do anything. But I also find that I eat less if I take it out and, like, portion it. Because if I eat it from a container, it's Oh, I love eating right out of the Chinese container. It's the best. The next day when I'm secretly binging, I love... Because in front of them, I'm like, yeah, I'll put some up. But the next day, I just stand there with the... <laughs> Cold Chinese food is one of my favorite things ever. It's great. Yes. Because yeah. somebody asked on Twitter, uh, is it okay to eat cold uh, cold leftovers? Yes. And the way I look at it is, if the food was that good, you can eat it cold. I love cold spaghetti. So do I. I love cold food, too. Not everyone likes that, but I, I do love Not that. Not a big cold guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm weird. I, I do. Weird I things. know how much In fact, I don't like right heating now. it up sometimes. I like it better cold. Yeah. Me like too. a meatball cold. So good. That's going to drag you down in the garbage. Just a tiny bit, though. <laughs> That's going to be tough. She's pretty bold. Anything that I, I do is trash. I've agreed with some stuff, <laughs> so <laughs> there's some trash there. Will mm. the TV be on while you guys have dinner? Um... That's hard now because I don't watch TV now because everything is I can't handle yeah, what's on much. TV. Okay, um, but yes, I've always watched TV while I eat. Okay, yeah. Um, and you mentioned the paper plates. Is it proper paper? Is it like the more cardboard ones, or is it the styrofoam? No, they're proper plate paper plates. Nice. Like, right. I well, mean, if people come over, I use regular plates. Sure, sure. you're not an animal. <laughs> Jeez, I mean. If I came over to your place in Long Island, I would expect a fucking wait. Oh, you mean paper a, a plates nice like what, when I got like a dollar slice on like those kind of paper plates? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Not if a cut now like a because th- I don't want to do the dishes every night. I yeah. mean, I you know. But are they the really thin ones where you got to use like two or three of them so it doesn't leak? <laughs> <laughs> or are they like the the, the hardy ones? The They're Cottonelle. Pretty, Cottonelle makes the sturdy ones. They're pretty ones. hardy. Okay. You don't have to use two. I know exactly what you're talking about. They're not- You the, buy them in like 5,000 stacks and you just gotta like grab a handful of them to eat a piece of pizza. Oh, yeah. yeah. Half the stack. <laughs> yeah. yeah you can, if any, if your food has any moisture in it, you can't put it on the plate. I know. Yeah. yeah. You waste so much stuff like that. Like when I have a stack of napkins like that, I'm just like- <laughs> Me yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give a fuck. I know. I do the same yeah. thing. Dude, if I have more than one roll of paper towel in my house, I'll just wrap myself in it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm like, I'm rich. It's fine. <laughs> I do grab like 50 napkins at <laughs> oh, yeah. one time. That's savage. Oh, my God. Uh, All, right. All right. We got to get you out of here in a little bit here. Um, I want to wrap it up with a few of our standards. Hold on. Yeah, I got to cut. Yeah. This, okay. Go ahead. I got you one. fire away first. Has anyone in your family ever appeared on the Antiques Roadshow? No. Okay. Have you ever taken the grease from your face and put it in your drink to make the foam go away? I have done that when I was drinking beer. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're doing if she's doing it now, that's a problem. But if she was in college or whatever, it's are you okay. doing it now? Uh, <laughs> Take some of the cream out no, of this coffee. I, I think G Mike already did that to your coffee. Years, but when I was drinking in college, happens, I just yeah. wanted the fu- beer. Okay. You got to get it in you quick. In me. Yeah. Um, have you ever used the chili cheese machine at Seven Eleven? Yes, when I've been drunk or high, but that's not a a normal thing okay. that I would do. Yeah. Has anyone in your family ever owned a Ronco Showtime rotisserie cooker? <laughs> <laughs> and how do you feel in general about the rotisserie chicken itself? I l- love it's rotisserie chicken, but no, no Roto one has, gang, baby. No one has owned that, but I love rotisserie I've chicken. I've always wanted one of those fucking Showtime rotisserie. Yeah, Set those... it and forget it, baby. <laughs> You're talking about, what's his name? Mike Pompilo, whatever. Is, Ronco? Ronco. Yeah, yeah Ronco. Ron, Pom- Ron, Ron Popeil. Yeah, Ron Popeil yeah. with the yeah. Showtime rotisserie cooker. You think he was banging that lady that did the show? She was an idiot. He had fucking... She couldn't believe anything. She's like, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anything? He, what? Oh my god! I th- I yeah, cooks she- chicken, lady. <laughs> Fucking relax. Yeah, if yak now, you get something else, lady. What? <laughs> if yak now. <laughs> oh my god! 
have you ever made this? This came from Facebook. Have you ever made which I was a big fan of? Have you ever made nachos in the microwave? Oh, yes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding? I mean, I'm an Come eater. On. Anything with food, I've done. As that's, a little that's kid, that's not that garbage. Was your... That's being a food addict. I thought I was yeah. in Cancun when I was doing it as a little kid. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, that's the putting best a couple ever. of Tostitos on a paper plate, shredded oh, cheese, that, breaking out some fucking better. black olives. I have olives. to say, it's probably one of the, my that, favorite things in the world. And a cold can of Coke. Good yes. Night. Yes. Good night. I like when it burns my oh, throat. Oh, love it. Yep. Man. Homemade nacho salsa sour cream. Ah, oh, the best. Hogan's Heroes. Goodbye. <laughs> That's a fucking nightmare. That's like that's that trash. It's like stuck to the paper plate uh, or whatever. It, One big thing, nacho. Yeah, you, you don't do those. You don't do those in a fancy way. No. You, do, you should be shocked. You and you shouldn't be doing that in front of other people. No. That's when no one's home or it's like two in the morning or right. something. You don't show other people. Yeah, that. that's when mom's seeing a client. <laughs> <laughs> that's when that is. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, let's do some. Want to do some of uh, the normal ones? I do. Get I would out like of to, here. I would like to know. Uh, growing up, um, were you served milk with dinner? Never. Bump Jewish. We don't do that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that's right or wrong. I it's like wrong. actually, but but no, we didn't. You don't. You don't mix milk with meat. A lot of people. We're not. We weren't grow. We didn't grow up kosher, but. Like it's very uncommon for Jewish people to drink milk with their meal because mm. they're a little more refined. Yeah. What about the butter when you were growing up? Where was that in the fridge or on the counter? <gasps> That's a good question. It was in the fridge, but I, I but I now I'm around it on the counter because really, it's yeah. I'm turning the corner myself. I thought it was the most insane thing to keep butter out. No, but everybody I, everybody says it's great. In fact, I just uh, cooked my kid a grilled cheese yesterday, and then, and it had been sitting out for a while, and it was amazing. Just just yep, spreads right yep. on there. We found out unsalted you can you have to keep. That's like cooking butter. Oh, unsalted you have to keep in, but the salt salted butter you can keep out because it preserves. I didn't know it. that. I'm yeah. personally offended by unsalted butter. Me too. And I've been conned by my mother a couple of times where that was. I went in with a fucking English muffy to fucking hook it up with some butter, and it was unsalted. I know, like, but then the I pour fuck? salt on it. Yeah, the best is break stones with salt. I just love break stones. Oh, yeah, butter. the blue package. Oh yeah, I've eaten the, the whole container in a. <laughs> oh man, they know what they're doing. Ooh, she's got some garbage tendencies. Yeah, I, know, I do. That's why I said all, I'm, I, I have a garbage side to me. Yeah, she's too. She's yeah. But I don't she's think too those, refined. I don't think those charges are going to stick. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, I got one. Have you ever used Bounty Wrinkle Release? No. That's trash. Ever used the ATM just to check your balance? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Isn't it weird that that's the first thing they ask you? Do you want to check your balance? No. It I want fucking crazy. cash. Yeah. Like, bills. Stop but, asking yeah. me questions. Yes. Yeah. Um, do you get cash back when you make a purchase? Yeah, that's my next question. That's a very good question. You guys have really good questions. Um, I have, but I don't normally do a, that. Yeah, no. I yeah. mean, I've maybe done it oh, a handful of times. Okay. What was the most amount that you took out? A hundred. A hundred? Yeah. She's got a little bit of cash. She's friends with De Niro. <laughs> By the way, tell him I said what up. That's ballsy though. Going to the checkout at the grocery store. And let me get a hundred. Well, I mean, I, I don't. I don't even think a lot they of places you let you do that. But but I have done that. I mean, I've that's gotten twenties normal. or yeah. I used to be a but cashier so, and people would do it all like regularly. But at some places, like at Seven Elevens, you can only get ten bucks or I something. Know. It's like what? Yeah, that's, that's like depressing. crackhead stuff. Yeah, that's depressing. Yeah. Do you ever go to an ATM where they let you take five bucks out? No. Uh, well, when it's tens, I'm fucking furious. <laughs> yeah. Because like, where were you in my twenties? And now it's like I don't want to be walking around with tens. Yeah. That looks real shady. It does. Six hundred dollars in tens. <laughs> <laughs> Cops ask questions. You know what I mean? They're not dumb. Uh. Yeah. Um, since it's the Halloween season, and I think this is something that uh, character is judged upon, mm -hmm. what is your favorite candy bar? Oh, that's a good question, too. Whew, and there a is a right one. answer. Do I have to come up with one? <laughs> Top three. Top three Thank candy you. bars. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Oh, that's good. number one? 100%. Nice. That's classic. That's the best. Twix. Okay. Lady after my own heart. Love Twix. I love score bars. I love toffee covered <laughs> in chocolate. What's a score? <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? He knows. <laughs> Do you like them? Dude, you, me, and my dad, I think, are the only three people that no, are keeping No, I know that other people. And that is an I, old school dad. Yes. <laughs> Those and, and Rolos. I, I love <laughs> Kit Kats. Kit Kats. I love Rolos are I'm old I'm going to keep school. naming them. <laughs> 
I remember Rolos my brother. Trash. My brother used to get Rolos. I'd be like, "What are you a hundred? Who the yeah. fuck with, eats Rolos with that as a thin kid? Foil? Like, what the fuck was this? What's the one with peanuts and raisins? That's trash. Chunky. Oh. Yeah. Ch- <laughs> oh, dude, What'd I you don't... call me? <laughs> Chunky's all right. That's yeah. a real. Chunkies it's a real good. low quality chocolate. Yeah, but when you get to the raisin with the chocolate, it's yeah. nice. I don't it's even think I've seen one of those. Good. A score bar is like a Heath bar. It's toffee on the inside. It's made by the Hershey Company. Hit the bricks. It's 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 it's, it's uh, good. It's pitched to a higher income demographic than the Heath bar, <laughs> basically. It was supposed to be classy. It's one of my dad's favorites. I mean, I love Snickers milk. I love all of yeah. them. Charleston shoes. I like every. Ooh, Charleston yeah. shoes is pretty There's garbage. A frozen Charleston shoe. <laughs> Have you ever had that? No. Put one of the vanilla fro- um, frozen <laughs> freeze it. Freezing candy. J- chocolate. I can't even fucking talk. But just eat it. Trust yeah. me. I got it. Yeah. So good. I started putting. Uh, I haven't started. All right. Let's <laughs> Let's back up. This summer. We put Sour Patch Kids. I was trying to hide Sour Patch Amazing. Kids from my niece and nephew, and I put them in the freezer. Amazing. And then I fucking got into them. Oh, man. I get, like two I've, weeks vacation. Yep. They're unreal. I've done the same thing. They're amazing. <laughs> yeah. huh. That's a that's a popular thing, actually. I know a lot of people who have that. I know it's freezer. something I should not have discovered in my mid-40s at 400 pounds. I can tell you that much. You're not 400. <laughs> he's not not 400 pounds, Jess. No, he's not 400 pounds. I'm 400 pounds. No, you're not. I'm creeping. He's for sure. He admits, openly admits 350. So. Really? Which with the fat guy, whatever he openly and admits, after, you add 75 pounds. After, yeah. gaining it, you'll get after a, a bad weekend, he could be, he could be four bills. <laughs> And never ask a fat guy when's the last time he ate, because it'll always be a lie. That's my joke. <laughs> I used to be fat, and I had some good fat, and I lost weight, and he was, he's was he been itching for it, itching to steal <laughs> Trying it. Trying to get my hands on the material. For like four years. He's like, let me use that bit. Let me use that. Let me use that. <laughs> I use it on the road. You can get you heckled at parks. Yeah, use it on the road. <laughs> I'll use it on the road. <laughs> Somebody yells out the back, hey, that's a kippy. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Just run off stage. The jig's up. Uh, all right. All right. You got one more? All right, uh, I got one. Ketchup. After it's open, does it go in the refrigerator or the cabinet? Fridge. Glass. Yeah, the last question I have goes goes along the same thing about the sharing of the food, but this is a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Now, you might be out with like uh, another couple, or it could be a business dinner, mm-hmm. um, or some extended family, or just friends. In that situation, do you, Jessica Kirsten, share a dessert? Will you share a dessert? With friends? Sure. Yes. Yes? Yeah, I'm big. I got big into like if they, you know, if there's four of you. Yes. You go, oh, give us. And there's like three desserts or whatever. Like, oh, give us one of each. Thing. And you all just kind of slice it. I would do a it. business thing too like that. Yeah. So that doesn't gross you out. No. But just because you like, you just take a piece. And, and then you can that's be tactical it. where you go a little I'm, bit. You don't uh, have to mouth kiss the but person. But guess what? If it were ice cream or like sorbet, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's ice cream's tough. <laughs> Share a milkshake. It has to be like a. It has to be a long dessert. Yeah, <laughs> like a churro. <laughs> You're both eating one end. Those big iced teaspoons. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that's pretty classy right there. That's all I got. Yeah. My I mean, official verdict is: you're all class. class. Oh, class guys. Yes. There you go. Get it going, baby. Are most people that? No, no. most people are pure animals. Garbage. Animals. Comics. Like yeah. mind blowing. Yeah. We get answers where I'm like, really. We've gotten people who are like, I haven't brushed. One thing is like, hey, do you brush your teeth in the shower? Do you, by the way? No. Because you're fucking classy. That's why. <laughs> we asked one kid, he goes, I haven't brushed my teeth in like six months. Do you rinse off what? in the shower? Rinse off? Yeah, that's a term you that I this got by from me. Him. I don't know what you what mean. What does that mean? Well, one, I don't know. You, you, one time you said to me, I'll just rinse off in oh, the shower. Oh, so I call that, uh, um, I'm going to take a, a body shower. Yeah, what meaning I don't entail? I don't wash my hair. Yeah, That's just it. I wash just your clean whole body. body. Yeah. yeah, just oh, freshen right. up a bit. Yeah, you make it seem like you just jump in there and get wet and jump out. <laughs> I don't know what. First like of all, I literally tub. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. You're the one that said it to me. It was it was a few months ago. It stuck in my brain. You said I took a shower and rinsed off. Maybe. And I thought I it was know. like a shorter version of a shower. Well, what are you rinsing off? See, I would think like what was on you that you're. Yeah. I gotta go in full tilt. Yeah, I go in. I might not shampoo. Right. I, I, I gotta keep. I gotta. You know. I gotta keep the seedlings going pretty well. But I'll do a body. I always do the body. In. You know. Me what I too. Mean? But I don't. Yeah. You know. It might wash just be a quickie too. Just like right. a whoosh, whoosh, yeah. You know. Hit the parts that matter. You know. <laughs> right. Yeah. Around the bases and keep yeah. it moving. You go. <laughs> <laughs> Around the bases. <laughs> yeah. I find I got. I got when I go in. I got to do everything because I have like a. 
like a half a day shelf life. Just I smell like a pirate ship. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> that's a lot of booty. Have you know. smelled a lot of pirate? <laughs> He's actually 400 years old. I've been in the Caribbean once or twice. No, I think it's important to watch. You know, and s- some people, yeah, I, I, it also, like, I feel like vegetarians and people that eat really well don't have to shower as much. Yeah. Mm. Don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I think it is. It's like, I don't know. I think bigger people wear the days worse on them a little bit. But also what you eat. Oh, for like, sure. Like, I don't eat The Rolos healthy. are coming out of me right, right now. Right, right. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> right. They're, they're seeping out of the yeah, pores. Yeah, the knishes are coming out of the holes. I got minced onions from McDonald's going through my pores. <laughs> Just mac sauce. Those are so good. Oh, we've talked about I, it. Yeah. Which, all, right, all right, one more, then we got to get you out of What's yeah. your favorite fast food restaurant? I think Burger King. Ooh, okay. I love Wendy's, too. Yeah, Wendy's is Love great. Wendy's. Classic. There's Shake something Shack classic about Shack. Wendy's. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, Wendy's is awesome. Mm-hmm. It is. Wendy's is fan. How do you feel about Chick-fil-A? I, I won't eat there because they hate oh, gays. Oh, that's right. I know that sounds stupid, but no, I just... No, fight your fight. I get it. Of I, course. I know. It's like, I just have these weird principles sometimes, and I just, I don't know. Yeah, no, it because makes total you know sense. why? Because probably the people that made those rules are getting head in a fucking mm-hmm. you know hole in the wall. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it just makes me crazy. Mm-hmm. How about Popeyes? Love Popeyes. Yeah, the Popeyes. Popeyes, loves, Popeyes is amazing. Loves everybody. Long John Silver. Love. I love all of them. <laughs> but that's he's a big LJS guy. Yeah, that's a rough one. Like the when I puppies. eat that, it's you, yeah. You got to do that under the dark of the you, night. Where do you, you find the you Long John going. Silvers? I found them on the road. On the road a lot. Yeah. yeah. Like doing all these weird places on the road. There's they pop yeah. up. Long John Silvers back at the hotel. By what about yourself? Arby's? <sighs> it's Arby's. dirty, but I I've never been in an Arby's and been like, oh, you guys take you know this is a tight ship. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. There's a layer of grease in every. I will not do White Castle. There's a couple in New York, and you go in, it's like, oh, yeah, it's tough. They don't even care. She'd be like, there's only two of you. You don't have to keep, you know, it's, it's not like there's 5,000 fucking White Castles around that you got to stay on top of. There's one right down the street from me on Long Island, and it's packed. Yeah. The drive through is packed every night. I, it just makes me feel fat, too. I'm ordering like 47 hamburgers. It's so it's like, I don't, it's... just give me two big ones. I'm going to call it a I know, it's like a mattress full of hamburgers. <laughs> I'll take the 30 rack. Yeah. <laughs> Extra onion. Extra onion. <laughs> uh, Jessica, thank you so much for coming in and sitting thank with us. Thank you. This was so Thanks much fun. I'm glad me. we finally made it work. 100% I know, me too. class. You're yeah. adorable. Oh, you guys are you. an adorable. I love it. I love the whole thing. Is there anything out there you'd like the folks to know? What, anything you got coming up? The road? The this? The that? It depends when this is coming out. This will be d- out on Thursday. Yep. Awesome. So I'll be on, I'll be at Mohegan Sun yeah. uh, the last weekend of the month. I'll be in um, Jersey on Friday night. And I'll be in in Flemington, New Jersey, Friday night, and I'll be in at Soul Joel's in Pennsylvania oh, nice. Saturday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's all listed on my social media. Great, on awesome. check Instagram her out. She's and... hol- you're hilarious. Thank you so First much. First of all, she kills harder than anybody yeah. in the city. If you it's have like, not seen Jessica on stage, do bananas. yourself a fucking favor. <laughs> Thank you, And guys. the videos you post online are so fucking funny, Thank too. Thank you. Yeah. Kippy, what do you got for him? Just as always, at Kevin Rank Comedy on all social media. Make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes, YouTube, and Gas Digital. Check it out. Thank you. Yes, sir. We love you guys. At H. Foley on Ice on Twitter. Foley Grams on Instagram. Uh, we will see you guys next week. Peace. Peace.